Hello, my name is Johnny and I'm on the teaching team here at CLPE, the Centre for Literacy in Primary Education. Uh, my choice for teacher book review this time round is Street Child by Burley Doherty, uh, which has always been a really popular download from the Power of Reading website and for a very good reason, which is that it's just a brilliant book. But it's recently been my uh, great privilege and pleasure to rewrite the teaching sequence, uh, doing justice to uh, what is a fundamentally an excellent title. Um, it's always been a popular topic, as I said, and I think a lot of teachers have used it to complement their exploration with their pupils of the topic of the Victorian era. But it's a shame to use it just, um, uh, just for that, and we certainly never advocate shoehorning a, a, a book into a, into a topic. We'd rather let the, the book drive the curriculum. Um, and so we've rewritten it uh, to really do justice to what is at heart uh, an, amazing, uh, an amazing book. Um, so Street Child is, is the story of a child, it's the story of Jim Jarvis, um, but he's a child in a time when being a child wasn't easy um, and it fundamentally uh, captures his struggle for family, for home and for freedom um, uh, in the face of really, really terrible things that happened to him poverty, uh, great injustice and, and, and real cruelty and during this we, we really empathise with him and that's why I think it's always struck a chord with children um, and he shows great resilience and, and kindness um, and humanity. Um, so uh, the story itself is, is, is an incredibly carefully uh, crafted narrative and we should never forget that Burley Doherty uh, won the Carnegie Medal twice and she was uh, highly recommended runner-up for it also twice. So she's a fantastic author and that's what it is basically is a really, really brilliant story. Um, and it's great to be able to explore it through the, um, the power of reading approach. So there are so many opportunities for uh, the artistic, dramatic and creative kind of approaches that we know really engage the children and really give them um, the experiences to write about and the language with which to write. Um, and there are some fantastic writing opportunities that just fall naturally out of our exploration of the text in that way. Uh, so incidental writing that comes leads to some really brilliant extended writing outcomes at the end. And because it's written for a year five, six class, we've left those writing opportunities really wide open. So there's a really great choice of free writing. You could write biography, you could write short stories, poetry, uh, non-fiction writing as well as fictional writing. Um, campaigns for uh, charities, campaigns for human rights, campaigns for street children. Um, because it's worth bearing in mind that the story of Jim Jarvis is a true story. Jim Jarvis was the boy that Dr. Bernardo met uh, and was so shocked by that child's experience that he went on to form the charity which still exists today. Um, and that's one of the really interesting points that we've also been able to include in our rewrite of the teaching sequence. Uh, Julia Golding in the introduction says, the great thing about this story is it could have been you. But sadly, we know that now this story could be you. Uh, in an era where there are food banks, where there are children going hungry during the summer months, uh, where there is still um, modern slavery, where there is child poverty, where there are street children. Uh, this is, book is a great way to see those parallels between the Victorian era um, and our own and uh, to explore the rights of the child in the present day. Uh, we've also included lots of opportunities for intertextuality, which is the kind of thing we want to be looking at with our Year 5, 6 children, to really challenge them and prepare them for secondary school. So we do a lot of comparison between the descriptions of the workhouse in Street Child uh, and also in Dickens' uh, Oliver Twist. Um, so a, a great story, that's the fundamental thing to recommend it, and really loads of opportunities for writing with your class. And the great thing is that the, the story will really, really draw you in, but there are places to go once you've got into the story. So as well as Street Child, um, we have a teaching sequence for uh, Treason, also written by Burley Doherty. And for those who really uh, get hooked in by Jim Jarvis and want to know more, uh, Burley Doherty, I think, was so pestered by children when she did school visits. What happened to his sisters? What happened to Emily and Lizzie after they were separated? Uh, she also wrote a great sequel called Far From Home. So um, really good opportunities to draw the children in and then to send them off once they've enjoyed reading that text with you. So I really, really recommend all of those titles, but particularly Street Child. Thank you.